I don't expect it to be good, so let's see how bad it really is. Here's a picture, it's a still from a movie, and here is the tool we're gonna use, foreground select tool, select the region containing foreground objects. Let's do that, let's just select this area, and uh, once we're done with that, press enter, and now we have to paint. So let's paint her clothes, and her ear, and her hair, and her ear, and her face, and her arm, and this fluff down here and some more of her body and maybe all of this and let's not be lazy even more here and maybe a little more okay maybe a little more i mean i'm doing way more than i'm usually willing to do for a quick quick attempt to quickly remove a background anyways here's the tool we need to press select here and it's not great it's not that great there, uh, you can see here, there is a lot of, let's call it dirt noise over here. This picture, um, of course, was compressed. And GIMP is really sensitive to that. There really is no smooth selection here. Now, there are different engines for that. And we can change the iteration count. So let's increase this to 10. Let's go for matting global. And face body. Hmm yeah more face let's give it a go select and now this took a bit longer and the results are still not great okay now we're gonna try the other engine matting levine and we're gonna go for i mean i'm worried about how how much i'm gonna slow down my computer let's try with four by four four levels four active levels i don't know what that means but we're gonna find out maybe Okay, select. Now, how long is this gonna take? Computing alpha of unknown pick. Okay, this is much better. There is much less noise, but there is still noise. It's not not excellent, but it is better. Okay, we're gonna crank it up to max. Also, let's set this to green. Let's see what happens. Feather edges, let's also do that. Radius 10, I guess so. Maybe five, depends on the resolution of your picture, really. This is taking... oh, not so long. Okay, this is not horrible, but I don't like the ear situation. I do like the situation around her co uh, cloak. I don't like this little thing. Yeah, we would have to use that. Plus and click and click and enter, I suppose. Oh, what? Minus. Click, click, click. Enter. Okay, I'm screwing this up. Uh, what's the hair? The hair is mostly fine. This is not great. Uh, this gap was not recognized, this gap also. Well, yeah, it's not great. It's not horrific, but it's definitely not great. If you know a better tool for GIMP, a plugin that can do these things, please let me know. I'm really interested to see and find open source solutions for this uh, very, very common task of removing backgrounds from portraits and such. I hope this video was informative to you. Give it a thumbs up if you think it was worth watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions. And I will see you in the next video if you subscribe. Until then, ciao!